Hey, what's going on, my guilty brethren? Watch this. You see that blinking? You see how it continues to blink the whole time through, even though it only has three keyframes? Isn't that a little bit abnormal? Because I've never. But, hey, look, check this out. I just learned this expression that makes things just continue to blink with only a few keyframes. It's an amazing expression. I, um, I've used it already in a couple effects. Uh, I had to bring it to you all. It's a, it's real simple once you, once you know how to do it. And I'm gonna show you right now. All right, create a new composition. Whatever you got is cool. It doesn't really matter. Hit OK. What I want you to do is go to Layer and go to New Solid. It doesn't really matter for this either. But after you've created the new solid, I want you to go up here to grab the uh, Masking Rectangle tool and just make a little little rectangle. I just want to uh, demonstrate how to do the expression. And first, what I want you to do is open the uh, properties of the um, of the mask and create a keyframe at the first and on the first frame. Create a keyframe with it at a hundred percent and then move down a couple frames before you do that move that back right click on the keyframe and create make it a toggle hold keyframe bam there we go now move down a couple frames and take it to zero zero percent and then we're going to move down a couple more frames and take it back to 100%. Alrighty, now after, after you've done that, I want you to alt click on the stopwatch. Alt, left click on the stopwatch. And then this pops up a little area for you to write in expressions. Alrighty, now. The expression is loop out a parenthesis type equals quotation marks cycle quotation marks close parenthesis. Now what this key what this expression is telling After Effects to do is after these uh keyframes, these three right here, to loop it. It's telling After Effects to loop all keyframes with the method called cycle. And there are other methods that I have yet to experiment with experiment with, but cycle is amazing. I, I've utilized it in many different cases. And um, I love it. I love it already. I hardly know it, but I love it. And now just click play and see what happens. Bam! Let's take that. I just wanted to get that off of there. It is a blinking. It is a blinking. Stop. 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 You know, fire alarm going off. Whatever. And uh, if you'd like to see because you only see the three the three keyframes we have if you want to see the rest of them you gotta click this right here and then click this right here and these are the keyframes now the keyframes are no longer the little simple ones we know they are lines and if the uh, opacity was fluctuating within this I'm just it's going from 100 to 0 that's why it looks like that but if it hit any other percent it would touch it and the graph would look a lot different but it doesn't and there you have it the basics the building blocks of something amazing you all can I'm, I'm pretty sure you can utilize this in one way shape or form because this is an excellent effect um, it's advanced it's very advanced I'm, I had to bring it to you all because I was amazed when I found this out. I used to 
chop up stuff and try to make it blink. But, oh yeah, and one more thing. Um, in the if you need CS6, any CS6, uh, pro Adobe program, Photoshop, After Effects, Illustrator, Premiere Pro, I'll have some links in the uh, description to get those programs up to 80% off. Uh, just at discount prices. Check them out. I'm telling you. I'm, it, I'm announcing it to the world. Um, I get mad at discount prices. You need to get yours at discount prices. But hey, look, all you got to do is enter a simple expression, and there you have it. But hey, comment, subscribe, uh, post your work, share with your buddies. Thank you all for watching, and have a happy YouTube and day. Take care.